Hey guys, welcome to your bonus energy check-in for Scorpio. This is going to be for your uh, rest of your October 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. Actually, this could be in any replacements because uh, anything could come up. So uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know. Um, apply this to your own unique situations. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. All right, so Scorpio, what messages do we have for, for Scorpio? Scorpio, energy check-in for Scorpio for the rest of October 2024. Bonus energy check-in for Scorpio here, okay. Seven of Swords, okay. Five of Swords here. Oh, the energies in and around you is not so great at this time here, Scorpio, to be quite honest here. I mean, you might be dealing with deceptive people here. Someone who's, you know, people or a person who's lying to you, playing games here with you, okay? You know, I feel like you're being called right now in this very uh, very moment to uh, protect your energies and also put yourself first here, okay? Put yourself first here. What else do we have here for Scorpio? The lovers. Yeah, this could be relating a relationship here. Yeah, this could be relating to a relationship that you could be dealing with here that's really deceptive. Some of you are playing games. Some of you could be exploring other options here. You know, whoever you're dealing with here, they're basically building a relationship based on a fantasy here. Uh, but it's a situation but that, that I feel like this person's not really going to deliver. You know, you, you know what I mean. So let's see what else we have. With a chariot, Cancer energy. All right. We also have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. It does seem like the universe is trying to nudge you, you know, it's trying to get you to take some sort of action here to move away from the situation here because I feel like the situation that you're in is very unhealthy here for you. Okay, so with this Chariot, Cancer Energy, and the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, the Seven of Swords, and also the World, okay? Five of Swords. And also the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It does seem like what's happening here with the World card here, it's kind of like one of those situations if you're staying in it for a long time or that you've been in it for a long time, it's time for it to end basically. Yeah, it's time to put a stop to this. We have the Lovers in the Eight of Cups, okay? Yeah, it, it seems like you're ready to walk away from a situation here, a romantic situation here that's not really working well. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, you guys got so caught up in this is that you guys forgot about yourself. Yeah, you guys forgot about yourself. I feel like you kept tending to, to this person's needs and that this person was just not really seeing you or looking at you, you know, or hearing you. With the Seven of Cups here and the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The Chariot and the Eight of uh, the Strength card, Leo energy. The Tower and the Three of Wands. Three of Wands and the Tower here. Yeah, it seems like you're definitely gaining the courage to step away from a situation here that's no longer serving a purpose in your life. A lot of you guys are definitely moving towards a new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, you guys are focusing on yourselves, focusing on your happiness here, okay? So there's definitely a huge shift in your energy, definitely going back to yourself and not sacrificing yourself for, for somebody else where this person doesn't have your best interests at heart here. Now, it doesn't have to be romantic. You could be dealing with like deceptive friends or deceptive family members, you know, deceptive uh, uh, co-workers here, all right? What else do we have for, for Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on for the rest of October 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. Like I said, this could be any of your placements. We have the Ace of Swords here. The Two of Wands.
three of pentacles. <clears throat> Queen of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. King of swords. We have the king to queen of swords here. Okay. Seems like there might be some sort of communication that's going to happen here between you and your person. There, yeah, there's definitely going to be some sort of reconciliation here. I'm not really quite sure why. You know, it could be a situation that you guys or, or that you have a hard time leaving this person. I mean, there could be some sort of trauma bond here. Yeah, I, I, I just feel like uh, this, is, um, this is not over by a long shot here. Yeah, I, I just feel like there's a coming together again. Now, for some of you guys, it could be a coming together again or that some of you guys could be, you know what? We're going to have a conversation again. This is it. This is closure for me, you know? So you guys could be using it as a way to, you know, exit this, right? So let's see what else we have here. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. And also the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Two of Wands. And also the Ten of Swords. Three of Pentacles and the Moon. Cancer Pisces, Queen of Swords here. And also the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. There's definitely some sort of ending. There's something, some sort of betrayal that happened here. And I do believe that there's someone here that's fearing that they will lose you forever here. Yeah, someone here is definitely rushing back in to save this relationship. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't feel like the separation is going to, uh, uh, the separation is going to last for a very long time, okay? I do believe that, you know, there's going to be some sort of reconciliation here. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of reconciliation. Um, let's see, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Death card here. I mean, some of you guys could be in this energy of like, okay, I have nothing to give. I'm just going to move on. But, you know, some of you guys could be in this energy. Okay, I want to give this a shot again, you know. But, you know, to be quite honest here, I just I just don't feel like this is worth it. It seems like whatever has been going on here in this situation, it's a bit of a re reoccurring theme here. It's a bit of a pattern here. And some of you guys are willing to break the pattern. And some of you guys are not really ready for that yet, which is okay. You know, sometimes it takes us a couple of tries to really learn the lessons here, right? So, you know, I do feel like, you know, maybe someone here, you know, might have, uh, you know, another lesson to learn or someone here has already learned it and they're ready to move on to the next thing here. So, Aries, not Aries. Why do I say Aries? Scorpio. I, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.